the song. Post Malone, Chemical 92.9 at Triple M. Zave Michelle, personal alternative for breakfast, joined by a WWE superstar at 8.10 today, Bronson Reed, Aussie bloke, and he joins us at 8.10. But right now, let's say hello to our next guest. We live and breathe footy here in the West. It's that time of year. So we've called on the expert. Yeah, he probably is. In the field. Pure talent. He has carved out a fantastic career. Our expert, Ryan Daniels. Hello, Ryan Daniels. Good morning, Welcome team. To the show. I, that they hold back on purpose. So I, so I go, hello, Ryan. Come on in. They're just being Welcome. smart, Alex. That's I'm a surprise. A, I'm well Shocking. aware. Every time you're in, Shocking I see turn of it. Events. Mind you, when Xavier wasn't here, you really focused on me. You just need a target, don't you? So yeah, I, I come yeah, to your aid, true. but the minute he's gone, you don't have to have a target. Oof. It's it's just how the world works. You know, mm. as always, before Doesn't getting to, punched, mate. I've yep. always said it. Yeah, love and exactly. light, just love and light. <laughs> oh. <laughs> cut to the footy. Yeah, let's cut the footy. Right, I want to talk a bit of money with you. CBA. Okay, done. Well, yes, done. And you'll be flat that you weren't playing right now because the oh. average wage for an AFL player will increase to six hundred thousand dollars a season. Wow. Average. That's no, a bloody reduction for me. No, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no I was very, very. No, I was paid what I deserved. Yeah. Very, very low. Do you think you were overpaid at any no, point? No, never. Okay. Do you think these never. guys no. will be overpaid? No. For an average player, six hundred no. grand. No. Okay. There, there's a talk that this will now allow for the first two million dollar player, which means two million dollars right. a season. Yeah, right. And Nick Dacos would be the first one that comes to mind with that. Mm. Very young, very good, yeah. and very Collingwood. So it would be would be pretty nice to be a two million dollar well, player. Well, Nick's signed for six years. Or something. Silly, yeah. very yeah. silly, Nick. I think it might have CBA. He'll be okay. Uh, increases. He'll there. be okay. Uh, He'll good be for okay. AFLW players as well. Their average wage will increase to eighty thousand dollars. Now, obviously, that sounds like a lot less than six hundred thousand, and you might be thinking that's not really fair. But the season's half as long, and also mm. there's at the moment so three hundred or so would be about the right marker. Well, yeah, probably about <laughs> the right marker. Yeah, <laughs> oh, look, what, what they will do is they will base in increases from now in terms of games played on viewership and crowd yeah, numbers. Okay. Yeah, So they have to hit certain triggers. Because it, it's speaking to TV numbers and, and yeah. media deals. and well, all that's that's how that's the money's made. That's how yeah. paid. The that's money has speaking. to come in, but yes. it is yeah. growing. Um, good. So that's, that's a good, good, that's, that's a good sign. Did I see sign. the games being played that there's a possibility of a reduction if numbers aren't at what they, if, if the audience isn't good, then they no. do lose a game. So Did it's I 10 now. It won't go below no, 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 10. No, 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 But it goes 10, 12, yeah. 14, 16 yeah. or whatever, but it can go It can go backwards. Less. If yeah. Just, yeah, because they have, it, it's a cost thing, right? Yeah. Particularly yeah, sure. if you're going to pay more that's for the, the players. That's the first sign of a cost thing being an element of the progression of the W. Absolutely. Which yeah. I think is probably the right model too. Okay. And now there'll be 12 months athletes as well. So they'll be full-time. That's great. Fabulous. So it's a job, full-time that's job. That's great. Because at the moment, uh, these players have to have... Yeah, Multiple going games, sometimes exactly. three. Uh, yeah, well. The other part of the deal is Thursday night games are probably going to be a thing every single week. I love um, that. The, I was just going to say, that's exciting times. I yeah. said yesterday in a podcast, though, Michelle, mm -hmm. if the onus is on Channel 7 to do something. They need to just later, about halfway through the third quarter, just flash up on the screen. Don't forget it's Thursday night. What, so you go to bed? Well, I get carried away yeah. here. Oh, <laughs> no. Before you know it, I'm cheering, cheering, the redder, the blinds <laughs> change, cheering. He's bringing out the horse. He's, he's having and a ride. Yeah, he goes off at four and you yeah, think, jeez, I thought it was Friday there. last yeah. night. And okay, that's fair. Just that's a quick fair. flash. I like hey, guys, that. Yeah. Like a warning system. We'll call it this. The big X comes up yeah. on the screen. Yeah. Pull um, up. Yeah, I don't mind that. And the last part of the deal is the three years for first round draftees or picks up to pick 20. Now, this is all, you know, contract bogged down stuff, but mm. it does mean a lot for one player named Harley Reid. Mm. The West Coast Eagles have pick one this year. Now, he has to automatically sign a three year deal if he signs mm. with the West Coast Eagles. It used to be a two year deal. That extra year buys West Coast some security, it buys them some leverage, it also buys you some time to say, hey, Harley, WA is pretty good. Mm. The mail I'm getting now is that they're more likely to take Harley Reid than trade that pick. Right. So I, I think it, it's been probably on the table as a 50-50 split at this point. What if North Melbourne stumble into two and three? Well, that this is the part I've got circled as you hear. Overwhelming. So the, the offer would have to be overwhelming. So North will probably have two and three. I wouldn't trade two and three for one. No, yeah. I, I don't think they would. And I think North Melbourne's come to that conclusion mm. too. They have to be sensible about this. So... Pick one. West Coast Eagles have it. Harley Reid, I think it's now more likely they take him. Still a lot of water to go under the bridge. Bit of excitement around the joint. Yeah. Good players, good 
good kids don't leave good clubs. Yeah, Lovely. Luke Shuey, West yeah. Coast, what's going on? Oh, he's back in the nest. Didn't take nice. long. And I, look, I don't think this is a huge surprise. He hinted he? at it in his presser. Yeah, you should ask him. He's your mate. Uh, he no. pretends he knows nothing yeah, yeah, about know. Luke Shuey. Really I don't know. Yeah. We haven't spoken. When he folds his arms like that, the body yeah, language. Totally, <laughs> it's totally. got that. He goes all red too. Yeah, um, I wouldn't have a clue. Luke Shuey's going to be back in the coaching realm. Whether or not it's development, which is the most likely scenario, maybe help out a little bit in the midfield. But he'll be joining Adam Simpson's team, which is fantastic. Fantastic. Nice. That resource. <laughs> Look at the surprise shocked. on him. That oh. resource. You've got to use that resource. Great yeah. leader. Uh, yeah. Incredible experience. Loves the club and wants to coach. So it makes sense. Makes a lot it? of sense. Mm. Makes a lot of sense. If I was the guest, I reckon he'd be starting as a development. There you go. If I was the oh, guest. Heard, you've heard it here first. Pure guessing. That's what oh, no, Luke told him the other day. No. Him, he's also got to learn <laughs> coaching realms as well. Like yeah, 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 you've got to find your areas. And yes. And obviously he's been a fantastic midfielder, but I would suggest that his strong suit has also been his interactions with young players. Yeah. Him and Danny, obviously, no, really course. good with the young guys as well. So that's fantastic. Uh, the other thing on West Coast, Matt Flynn. I mentioned this the other day, but he, he they're looking for a ruckman. As yeah, a, makes sense. Yeah, to help out Bailey Williams. This guy, GWS ruckman, he's their backup. 26 years old, big boy, 202 centimetres. I think they're going to get him. They're, he has to wait till his season's over before he wants to really mm. get into it. But I think they're a really good chance to get Matt Flynn. Tyler Brockman, we've already mentioned, that's, that's going to happen. Yeah. And Dev Robertson's the third one. So they could bring in three players. Robertson, again, Brisbane's still playing there hoping to play in a grand final. I think it's more likely he's there than he's not, but Brisbane mm. is still in the mix for that one. Now, just quickly too, I got a DM you on socials. Mm. We don't have, a, not a lot of Frio news kicking around at the moment, yeah. but a guy messaged me saying he's a happy man. His daughter was a Collingwood supporter and I thought he was going to say he, she's just moved over to West Coast or Hawthorne. She's going to Frio because Sonny Walters gave her the time of day, gave her a lot of love and oh. signed her boxing gloves and everything like that. Oh, so oh, Fremantle have picked up a supporter from Collingwood. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, due to a uh, Sonny being an absolute ripper, which we know he is. So, that is fantastic. Uh, there's no real stories kicking around with Frio, but a yeah. nice little story but there. Sonny is one of the best blokes in footy. Mm. Like, absolutely one I'll of the best that. blokes in footy. Yeah. Just quickly, I've got, what, 25 seconds before I have to go. Adam no. Uze is the new coach of Richmond. Fantastic. Yeah. Great name, too. Jacob Kaczynski, your mate leaving Hawthorne going to Richmond. Ah, uh, bugger off. But you're going to get Marbury. Oh, <laughs> Sounds like I, I hate it when he gets hurt. Ooh. I know. I know. Look at him. He turns straight away. Marby or Chole might be on the radar for you guys nah, instead as a fill in. Uh, Todd Goldstein's <laughs> leaving North Melbourne. No idea where he's going yet, but he wants to play on. The time at home. Brody Grundy's <laughs> definitely <laughs> going Sydney. to Sydney. Oh yeah. Brody Grundy, lock it in, going yeah. to Sydney. He's oh, toured it. He loves Bondi. And mm. Bryn Teekle, Northampton kid. He's gone from Port Adelaide, but a bit of interest from North Bulldogs and GWS. Just quickly, Goldstein, I was only joking. He's been an absolute star for that. Has club. been. Absolutely. Yeah.